Margaret's office. Uh, it's Jerry. Who is this? I want to stay in New York for a while. What about your semester? I don't want to analyze other people's work anymore, Carl. I want to write. How about a literary agency? Great. But do you type on a typewriter? It's very different from typing on one of those computers. Did she give you her speech about the evils of the digital age yet? So there are no computers? I've seen them in action. They just make more work for everyone. You published poetry? Yes. Leave that out. Writers make the worst assistants. Get to work. There were hundreds of us working at literary agencies or publishing houses. We wanted to be writers ourselves. You're a novelist yourself? Joanna is my assistant. I don't hire writers. Guess who my boss represents? And Rice? The Pope, Thomas Pynchon. J.D. Salinger. No way! Salinger? I'm sure you've heard that he's crazy. He is not the problem. It's these people who relentlessly call for his address, his phone number. Dear Mr. Salinger, I read the capture in the ride three times now. I got these literally a bunch of obsessive freaks. Salinger's fan mail. You need to answer them. So Salinger doesn't get any of his mail? Not once. Mr. Salinger does not wish to receive mail from his readers. Did you send my letter to Mr. Salinger? You send my letter to Salinger. You have no right to keep my letter. Jerry likes you. I am reluctant to alter his routine. I don't want to be a routine. What did you plan on doing? You keep saying you want to write, but you work long hours for other writers. But you really have to love it. You have to want it more than anything in the entire world. Don't get stuck answering the phone, Joanne. You're a poet. You've crossed the line. It's a huge rabbit hole, ethically and legally. All right, you've had your fun. I didn't want to be ordinary. I wanted to be extraordinary.